Good morning. If you've ever been through something in your life, today's lesson will hit home. Lesson seven is give thanks for deliverance. October 20, October 17, 2021. I'm Vincent Walker, superintendent of Emmanuel M.E. Sunday School. Reverend John L. Dees Jr. is our pastor. I stated in the beginning, if you've ever been through something, this will hit home. Give thanks for deliverance. Psalm 107 is our lesson scripture. And the focus is Psalms 107, 1 through 9 and 39 through 43, but Psalms 107. Give thanks for deliverance. The word deliverance, deliver implies moving something or someone from one place to another. In this sense here, give thanks for God, God's deliverance God delivers us from a place physically or a place spiritually to another place. When God delivers us, God, de God brings us from a bad place to a good place. It's the deliverance we are speaking of. Um, so often we're going through things and we're stuck in things. And we cry out to God and God delivers us from them, whether they're physically or whether they're spiritual, whether they're emotionally. Most of the time we get caught up on the physical things that God has delivered us from. Um, you, you, you're you facing financial hardships. God delivered you from those. You're facing something um, physical ailing in your body. God delivers you from that. But um, it, it's more than that. We have to think of the spiritual things and the vices that are on us mentally that God has brought us up. You can be you, you can be. Uh, you can have that duck in the water mentality where you um, look like a, well, what I'm saying by duck in the water is the duck as he glides across the water. And we see on the surface, he looks all fine and dandy. Here she looks fine and dandy. But underneath, the feet are kicking them just like that there, trying to stay afloat. And, and, and that's how we as Christian brothers and sisters are sometimes. We're just like this under the surface. But the good news is whatever you're going through in your life, God can bring you through. God can bring you out. This lesson focuses on and gives thanks for all the time God has brought the people of Israel out of bondage and, and, and out of bondage and into a better place because they cried out to him. When you cry out to God, when you ask God for help, he, 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 he's going to deliver you because he wants us successful. Because he wants good for your life. Now, understand this. Give thanks for deliverance. When you're hungry, God can feed you. When you're broke, God can provide for you. When you're sad, God can make you happy. Whatever the situation is, God is the answer. God is the deliverer. Take it this way here. Verse 40 says, He pours contempt on princes and makes them wander in trackless ways, but he raises up the needy out of distress. I'm sorry, I should have just went with verse 41. Sorry. But he raises up the needy out of distress and makes their family like flocks. He raises up the needy out of distress. I'm just so happy for God's deliverance. It says he brings the needy, he raises up the need out of distress. So those that are in need, he can bring you up. He can pull you out of whatever you're going through. Verse 43 says, let those who are wise give heed to these things and consider the steadfast love of God. The steadfast love of God, it's always there. God does, these, God does these things for us because he loves us. God is our father. We're his children. Give thanks for deliverance. You ever been caught up in a situation? And I know so many people probably have. You're caught up in situations where you just seem like you're just stuck there. You seem like you're just stuck. Can't get your act together. You don't know what's going on. You just can't quite put your finger on it. 
that's one of those times where the devil is just got you just got a grasp on you enough to where you seem like you're doing good, but you just can't get over the hump. When you're in those situations like that, when you seem like you just can't get over the hump, lean on God as hard as you can. Because God is our burden barrier. God can handle it. God can take it. God can deliver us from that eye that you just can't get over. God can deliver us over that. Too often when you're going through things, we depend on people to help us. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with getting you a prayer partner to help you go through that, but man is not built to handle the weight like God can handle it. That's why he can deliver not only me, he can deliver you, he can deliver your family, he can deliver everyone that you know out of any situation. Man cannot do that. Give your burdens to God. Allow God to take you from one place to another place. That's the delivery. He's moving you from here to there. So often we get here and we just get stagnant. Because understand this, when you're in that moving process, all moving processes aren't the same length. God, sometimes it takes two months. Sometimes it takes two years to God to deliver you. Sometimes it takes two minutes, two days for God to deliver you. But guess what? When God is delivering you, guess what? The devil sees you moving from that bad place to this good place. And he wants to stop you. And sometimes he can get in there and he'll stop you when your mind, when you get unfocused, he can get right there and stop you. But guess what? If you can lean on God, if you lean on him, God will get you there. He will deliver you. He will get you out of a place of bondage. He will get you out of a place of sadness. He will get you out of a place of financial hardship. He will get you out of whatever, whatever you stand in need of. He got the people of Israel out of bondage, out of slavery. He can get you out of any situation. Why did he get that? Because they cried out to him. They knew of his power. See, the thing is, we know of God's power. We know of God's abilities. We've become just like the people, well not become, we are just like the people of Israel. When things are not going our way as fast as we want them to go, what do we try to do? We try to deliver them ourselves. But guess what? We are not the master postman. God is the best postman out there. God is better than UPS. God is better than FedEx. He's better than DHL. He's better than the United States Postal Service. He's better than Amazon Prime, I tell you that. He can deliver you better than anybody better than anybody follow stay with God just stay with them turn from your wicked ways stay with God he'll deliver you no matter what you're going through he'll get you there have a blessed day my brothers and sisters amen